to get out, I want to get out Those pictures so clear, we fade in my mind You're leaving me here with ashes I'm fine These people don't heal, these people don't feel These people are real, so make me the steel Won't you give me, give me love, give me, give me love Give me, give me love, give me, give me love When I'm low, when I'm low Give me, give me love, give me Finally, you've become so consistent with your tricks that you can do them one after the other. It feels great to be linking certain tricks together, forming a sort of line. You decide to set up your camera and get a few of these lines for your Instagram page. But wait a second, your stationary phone isn't capable of getting up close and personal with all of your tricks. How are you going to show off all your gnarly maneuvers with your Grammy and the homies? I have this very same problem and I need to fix it. This is where a filmer comes in handy. Today I will be interviewing four lucky gentlemen for the chance to be my filmer. However, before we do that, let's get to the premise of the video. The line. In skater terms, a line is several tricks one after another with someone filming close behind. While filming, the filmer needs to remain low and focused on the individual not to mention have a steady hand to avoiding shaky footage. As a matter of fact, this may prove to be pretty difficult for people who are inexperienced in filming skateboarding. So why am I doing this, you may ask? Well, uh, um, basically, it's just fun to watch people struggle. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> So, first things first, what is your name? My name is Isaac Smith. Do you skateboard? I do skateboard, but I'm not good. How long have you been skateboarding? For about a year. Do you have any favorite skateboarders? I think Jamie Foy is really dope because he's just gnarly. He, gets, he eats it a lot, so I think it's cool. What trick or tricks are you working on currently? Heel flip and a shove it. Do you know how to film a line? Uh. Maybe a little bit. I know how to film. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, what is your name? I'm a light. Uh, do you skateboard? It depends on your definition of skateboarding. <laughs> Alright, how long have you been skateboarding? I'm probably at a year now. Do you have any favorite skateboarders? I'm gonna sound really generic because I don't know a lot of skateboarders. I think Nigel Houston. Ever since I got Nigel's board, I've been kind of following him. He's a pretty cool guy. Ever since I was a kid, I was a fan of Chris Cole. I thought he's a pretty cool guy. I like Zero. So, yeah, I guess those two are probably my top. What trick or tricks are you currently working on? Um, I just kind of like am getting my Ollie mastered. <laughs> I, I'm still working on the shove it, and I really want to get the kickflip soon. Do you know how to film a line? doesn't sound too hard. I know how to film other things. A line can't be that hard. It's just a straight line, right? <laughs> what up? <laughs> Alright, first of all, what is your name? My name is Romeo Zarati. Do you skateboard? Yes, I skateboard. It's my uh, skateboard. Oh, nice. How long have you been skateboarding? Um, skateboarded for, uh, I want to say about a year and a half when I lived in Nebraska. Then I moved and moved to Russell, so I stopped skating. But since it's been one day, I've been skating for almost half a month, <laughs> half a year. <laughs> do you have any favorite skateboarders? Yeah, I do. You have a list? Yeah, yeah go ahead. tricks are you working on right now? Uh, I'm working on a burial kickflip and a... I think I'm working on my heel flips. Yeah, I think it's heel flips. Yeah. 
Do you know how to film a line? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right, first of all, what is your name? Uh, name's Devin, but they call me DJ. Do you skateboard? Uh, yeah, I've uh, been known to skateboard. Uh, how long have you been skateboarding? Uh, two months, maybe three months. Do you have any favorite skateboarders? There's a couple, none of them come to mind, but the one that made me want to be the one I am today is this guy named Nate before. I don't know, he's pretty cool. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. What tricks are you currently working on? At the moment, I'm just trying to learn the basics. Um, I've uh, mastered uh, writing. You know, I think that's uh, something that everyone needs to learn. Do you know how to film a line? Yeah, 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 I know. Um, while, like, training at the monastery, I also learned how to film and how to film lines just so I could, like, have this opportunity. I thank you again. All right, we're starting off with a nice little ollie over the pyramid. Coming up the ramp here, doing a rock to fakey. Coming back towards the pyramid, doing a fakey 360. Roll slowly, go up the ramp, come back down. And then we're gonna finish the line off with a blunt slide. This is the line that I chose for everyone to film. Uh, we're gonna go through each of their lines that they filmed and we're gonna check out how they, how they did and have a ranking at the end for you. Enjoy. We're starting off with Isaac Smith's line here. Nice, okay, cut my hat off a little bit at the top, but that's no problem. Coming back, got the trick very well. Not very low, but I don't think very many of them got very low. Oh, and the biggest mistake, missed the blunt slide. That's gonna take a few points off, but overall, not a terrible job. Okay, next up we have Elijah Booth. Coming up with the ollie, a little far away. Uh, okay. Still, still pretty far. Need to get a little closer. Smoothness, smoothness though, looking very good. And still a little far away, but overall, uh, main issue was how far away he was, but that's that's no big deal. Next up is Romeo Zarati. Still a little far, not as far as Eli. Fakey. Oh yeah, definitely up a little bit closer, but still kind of far away. I like how he manages to keep the skateboarder in the center of the screen at all times. Very good job on that. How smooth it was. It was filmed very smooth. Overall, pretty freaking good. Lastly, we have uh, Devin DJ Dorsweiler. Ollie. All right, cut off the head a little bit. Not a huge deal. Managing to stay a bit closer. Right there, didn't keep the skater in the center of the frame. Uh, up close and personal with that front blunt. Very nice, keeping it close. A little shaky at times, but not a huge deal. Um, yeah, good job. All right, really quick before ranking these, these clips, uh, I just wanna take a moment to say, look at these goofy dudes. They all goofy. They all goofy as heck. But they're pretty cool. Thanks guys again for helping me film this video. I really appreciate you guys and your hard work. Let's get into it. In fourth place, we have Isaac. Isaac, your filming was good. It was good for a first time. Uh, only thing I have to say is you gotta make sure that you're catching the tricks. Otherwise, you're gonna make a lot of skaters mad. In third place, we have Eli. Eli, once again, not too bad for a first time filming a line. But, you gotta get up close in there. You gotta get up close and personal. You wanna feel the skateboard when you're watching the clips. And in second place, we have Romeo. Romeo, you did a great job. You held steady. Uh, you were a bit closer than Eli, so that helps your score. Um, yeah, good job. And last but not least, we have Devin. Devin, you did a great job. A uh, little shaky, 
little shaky, but that's all right. With uh, with skateboarding, it's okay to have a little sketch. But uh, getting up close and personal on the last trick really sold your line for me. So congratulations, Devin, on winning the Film Align Challenge slash teaching course slash documentary slash romantic comedy. <laughs> And once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you did. Let me know if you didn't. I don't know. Maybe leave a comment or something. Anyways, I'm going to leave this video off with a little wholesome content from our filmers today. And last of all, what do you like about skateboarding? Uh, it's freeing. It feels really cool to be just riding. I think it's dope. I like landing tricks and not getting pissed off every time because I can't land it. <laughs> um, it's just like another thing to get out of the house, you know? Just, if it's a nice day, just go skate with the homies. Something easy. Uh, and it's just like, you can never really get done with skateboarding. Like, there's always something new that you can always learn. It feels free. It feels like you're in something amazing. It makes me feel happy. Awesome.